So, look, I've been doing a lot of segments lately on trans people, but it, the reason why, it's all, it's all purely, like, defensive. Because clearly the far right has jumped the shark. Uh, clearly their rhetoric has gotten more and more extreme. And now I feel super compelled to come out here and say, like, very basic things, right? So, uh, I wasn't doing that many segments on this until you had people like Michael Knowles come out there and say, eradicate transgenderism. That's a direct quote. Um, and you had Matt Walsh on Twitter basically admit that, hey, I know we pretend like this is all about kids and protecting the innocence of kids, but I think it should be illegal for a doctor to perform this surgery, even for adults. So when you see stuff like that, you're like, oh, oh, okay. So we got a real issue on our hands here. And now you have some laws popping up in Texas and Florida where they're like, hey, we should be able to kidnap your kid if uh, your kid is trans. Because they want to define it as child abuse. That's what they want to do. Okay, so um, in other words, all these segments are defensive in nature because a line has clearly been crossed. And it feels like there's no going back, right? So we got to force that line back. So um, here we have another example. Newsmax is one of the networks that prides themselves on being to the right of Fox News. Uh, here's a Newsmax host giving her thoughts on trans people, and it's just as bad as you'd expect. Once upon a time, some church leaders thought you could pray the gay away. Some parents even forced their kids to undergo conversion therapy. Then realization hit. In the words of Lady Gaga, I was born this way. So why is it abhorrent, and rightfully so, to say someone can simply change who they're attracted to? Yet if you say someone cannot change their gender because they were born that way, you run the risk of being shunned, canceled, you're transphobic. On social media, I've actually been told I'm transphobic because I refuse to call a she a he or use incorrect grammar like they or them. Hey, uh, Alphabet Times 10 community, I am not afraid of a trans person, therefore I am not transphobic. Right here on this show, I will formally declare I am a trans denier because science tells us you can't change your chromosomes. Wow. Wow. Okay, so at first she brings up the, uh, the, hey man, I remember when they tried to pray the gay away and I remember when they tried conversion therapy and then Lady Gaga said no. I was born this way. And I agree with that. That's correct. And when I heard that point, I'm like, wait, is she about to steer the ship in a pro-trans direction? And then, of course, she learns the exact wrong lesson from that. What she takes away from that is, well, that means born this way applies to gender as well. Therefore, it's over. I'm not, she says, I'm not transphobic. I'm a trans denier. So in other words, I don't, I don't even think they exist. Trans people don't even exist. Okay, you jackass. Let me explain to you why the very first point you made leads to the opposite conclusion for the second point. So, yeah, the born this way argument for being gay, true. But so is the born this way argument for trans people. What does that mean? What does that mean? Let me explain it. There's a difference between biological sex and gender. You're correct. Biological sex cannot be changed. If you're born male, you're male. If you're born female, you're female. That's your biological sex. Trans people will tell you this. Yes, your biological sex is your biological sex. Gender is the cultural and societal norm around that. So the way you outwardly present is up to you. Sex, biological sex and gender are not the same thing. In fact, in many ways, they're the polar opposite. Sex is the biological thing. Gender is the social thing. So the, the born this way point for gay people, which I agree with, funny enough, I take the exact same position on trans people. Some people are born biologically male and they basically have the brain of a female or biologically female, but they have the brain of a male. To put it in like really layman's terms, simplistic terms, you get the gist of it. Something about who they are internally. They know, hey, I'm kind of in the wrong body. It's the opposite thing. Okay, so we have to deal with that. We have to work with that. It would be denying reality to not allow them to express as the opposite. So she sets it up with an argument that is sound and then drives the bus into a ditch in the very next argument or in the very next sentence. She's like, born this way for gay people is correct, so obviously trans people don't exist. No, born this way for gay people is correct, so born this way for trans people is probably true as well. Okay, I don't want to get too into the weeds here, but it's also possible that both with gay people and with trans people, it is possible it's not necessarily born this way. It is possible it happens in a very early age of development, but then it is still rock solid and concrete 
regardless of the fact that it wasn't born this way. It could still, something can still develop in young childhood that effectively becomes concrete. So it's almost as if it was like, quote unquote, born this way. Either way, the end result is the same. Gay people are gay, trans people are trans. Either way, that's the way it works, okay? Just to clear that up for everybody. But look, it's kind of amazing to me that that last part, like, no, I'm not transphobic, I'm a trans denier. So if you're saying trans people don't exist, then you're effectively taking like the Michael Knowles line that we need to eradicate transgenderism. So in other words, nobody should be allowed to express as the opposite gender. That's the argument. And look, some people get in trouble because they say, oh, I, I, that kind of sounds like genocidal to me. I, it's kind of hard to criticize those people now, isn't it? Because what exactly are you saying? Yes, maybe they're not saying put on some jackboots and act like the Nazis and throw them all in concentration camps, but you are saying through force, take an authoritarian approach and don't allow people to express as the opposite gender from here on out. And that's why I'm being the kindest to, you know, in my interpretation of what you're saying, right? That's the argument. Like from here on out, nobody can express as the opposite. And it's like, that's super authoritarian. And you're saying, I don't want trans people to exist. And so whatever terminology you want to use, it's wrong, man. That is deeply wrong and deeply concerning. And if anybody were to say that about gay people, everybody would be like, whoa, what the hell? Say that about any group of people, Muslims, Jews, gay people, women, whatever, any, people that, whoa. But this is just like another day talking about trans people. It happens all the time. So they've really jumped the shark. They've really gone way too far. If you are denying the existence of trans people, you're the one who's being unscientific, which is hilarious because at the end of it, she acts like, I'm the one who's being pro-science. No, you're not. If you are, and Matt Wall said this too, like, I'm just team truth. I'm just trying to get to the truth of it all. The truth of the matter is that there are some percentage of the population, a relatively small percentage, but some percentage of the population is born one way and they feel the exact other. That feeling is real and it matters. It's not made up. Not only is it a feeling, it is a compulsion. It is deep in there, okay? So for you to just deny that and act like it doesn't exist or it doesn't matter, you're the one that's being a science denier because you're denying that which is very patently obvious right in front of you because you want to cling to some traditional conception of men and women. That's all it boils down to, you know? And by the way, I'm sure there are going to be people on the right, the far right, the fundamentalist right, who are mad at her commentary here, but mad at it because of the first part because she concedes like, hey, yeah, I think uh, gay people are born that way. And so, you know, conversion therapy was wrong. Pray the gay way was wrong. There are going to be some people on the far right who are like, excuse you? No, that stuff is still correct. And nobody's born that way. And we shouldn't allow gayness in the same way we shouldn't allow trans people. There are going to be some people who take that position. She thought she was clever, but really she just made a total ass of herself. But wow, look at the kind of commentary going on on the far right news outlets. I'm telling you, man, when you look at the right, what do you see? Culture war, day in, day out. Endless, nonstop. And again, the reason they do that is because they need to deflect and obfuscate from the fact that across the board, they have unpopular beliefs. And nobody would sign on to that agenda. So they take the most controversial social issues and gin up an outrage and uh, try to harness that energy for their own political ends. And it's, it's the age-old trick. It's absolutely pathetic. But again... They've crossed the line. They had it when they were couching it more and they were being more strategic about it and they were pretending, oh, it's just all about protecting the children. Then it had it it had more to it. But now when you know what they really believe and what they're really saying, woo, shows you how ugly it is. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.